And your name? Uh, my name is Diane Wilson. And uh, Di what group are you with, Diane? I'm with Coach Pink and Veterans for Peace. And I'm a fisherman uh, shrimper from the Texas Gulf Coast. I'm on day 57 of a water only hunger pass in solidarity with uh, strikers in Guantanamo prison. And uh, I'm here to get as close <laughs> to Obama as oh, I can you know and I tell to him. Oh, this is my desk in my house. And you were arrested here a couple of weeks ago, weren't you? Yeah. Two, uh, I, I guess around two weeks ago, I put a bike rock around my neck and chained myself to that fence over there. And it took 35 cops, a uh, fire truck, a SWAT team, a, uh, uh, a rescue squad, and 35 policemen to break that German lock. It was a German-made lock, and they were real aggravated about that lock. But it took... It took uh, I got some good photos of it. Yeah, yeah. And it took two or three days for them... No, two or three hours for them to... Uh, Anything else about today, your feelings about today? You want the uh, yes. president to do something? Yes, I. Uh, we definitely want the president to do something because he I is know, the man that, well, that like came today to like, start that release of detainees. He can do it. Everyone we have talked to, every expert, every former no, prosecutor, uh, senators, like, Democrats, you know, like, uh, clients, uh, Center for Constitutional Rights, he can do it. You can point at other people and say, I got to wait on them, and they got to agree, but he's the man that can do it, and that's why, that's why I'm here. Well, Harry Truman said, the buck stops in that office, that so right. somebody ought to give him that the slogan. That, that is right, and, and also I think it was, um, I think it was Roosevelt who, who when some, some people came to him about what they wanted him to do, and he said, uh, I agree, but... Make me do it. And that's what that's, that's what, one reason I'm here. I'm gonna make him do it. Okay. Well thanks so much and, and God bless you. Thank you very much. Right. I'm with Kevin Zeese. <laughs> Kevin, what's your thoughts about the re police response to this rally? Well, I think there's a lot of solidarity from the people who are here. They're really concerned about Diane Wilson, who's in her 57th day of a hunger strike. She went over the fence uh, of the White House. 
Immediately there was a guard dog on her and uh, several uh, enforcement people. She didn't resist and we put an arrest. We're in the process now of others in solidarity getting arrested with her. And, uh, and what we're seeing is uh, people saying enough is enough. Obama, you are a torturer. That is the reality. These come from your command. You have the power to release these people, and you're not taking action. You haven't taken action for five years. You are a torturer. Every day these men are being forced with metal tubes, metal tip tubes going down their throat, sometimes puncturing their lungs. Every day delay is every another day of torture, and President Obama is totally responsible. And these people here know it, and more and more Americans know it, and people are going to hold Obama responsible for five years of torturing people who have never been charged with a crime, and scores of which, 86 of which, have been said they are they're, they're they're cleared to leave, and still they sit there being tortured every day. Anything else? Any you? People all around the country need to rise up against Guantanamo. It's going to take people's pressure to move this torturer in chief away from his daily torture activities. That's what this is. Let's bring it on Obama. Obama is the torturer here. She's five foot three. Thanks so much. Shame on you.